Champ versus Sceptile. So this matchup will be very interesting. Um, I feel like it's not really in anybody's favor too much. If you're gonna put it in anybody's favor, it's really I would I would say Sceptile right now. Uh, Sceptile has a nice mid range. Of course, you want to be far. Uh, you want to be far away from a champ if you can, because you're scared of the grappler mindset of grabs and of course really high hitting normals. But I think Sceptile really has like some good neutral options, but the champ doesn't really get zoned out too much by Sceptile either. So it should be pretty interesting to see. Game G starting off this phase change there. He's able to push him up on the wall for a little bit of a combo. Flies over him, but puts himself in the corner. Here's Hammer Arm. This is going to be a ton of damage. Go tries for the air grab, not able to get it, but gets the normal grab. A ton of damage coming out there. Spends the bulk up. Goes in with the cross shot. Leaf Blade right on the tip, coming out from Game Genie. Able to get a little extra damage just from the, how far away it was. And then Giga Drain coming out. Game Genie doing a little bit of zoning, punishing Blood from staying on the ground in number three. We're going to see it again. No, sets up this bullet punch. Or not bullet punch, excuse me. Bullets. 2Y. Okay, Blood not holding that, not holding that bullet. He needs to hold it right here. TA is through it. Oh, tried the Leaf Storm. That was spicy. Oh, he's going to get grabbed out of this. He's probably, I think he's dead. I think he's dead. I think he's dead. He's dead. Game, uh, Blood going for the YOLO grab and is able to get it. Round number one going to Blood in the typical Machip way. Doing a ton of damage on the ground, or on the grab to close the round. Send up the side Y and then the traps. Flies in, not a bad, uh, not bad by Game Genie. Or not Game Genie, excuse me, Top of Blood. Leaf Storm coming out and then just waits for him and grabs him right out of it. See, so just like that, Blood is back in and calls the token kiss to, to get in the field. And I don't, he needs to cancel this, he needs to guard. He does in time. Pushes him away. Close. Flash kick coming out there from Game, er, game Genie. He's gonna get punished with the burst attack, but not into the full animation, but he does get a little extra damage off. Right before the phase is gonna end. Good patience there coming by Game Genie. He goes and parries that 2x. the burst. All right, Game of Genie code, or tying it up here. <laughs> Round number three, game number one here against Blood and Game Genie. Game Genie going with a little bit of the trap setups again. He's able, Blood is able to get in. They gets pushed right back out with the Leaf Blade. Gets grabbed there with the Giga Drain, gonna sap a little bit of the synergy away. Goes in again, but it's not able to close the distance. Getting greedy with the grab. It's gonna be some good damage there. He doesn't have the bulk up, so he's not able to get the extension. That is punishable. Game Genie punishes accordingly with a 5 wide for the phase change. He had a lot of phase shift points there, so he couldn't get too much off of it. But he's able to close it in the field again. Game Genie just needs about one more, one more combo to really get done. This is going to get grabbed, but he can get a little bit of health back in that token kiss. Game Genie is not going to be able to close it out quite yet. Oh, and he, yeah. <laughs> Blood pulling out the smack talk. Pulling out the smack talk saying he gets it, he has the download. Game Genie's now done. You're done. Blood looking straight in the eye and said, you're done. I understand your character, you're done. All right, round game number two here. Game Genie and Blood. Game Genie's like, I'm gonna be dancing around school pop bloods like you're done. Not done quite yet as Game Genie gets the forward Y. Okay. 
Leaf Blade coming out there and just goes straight in for another Leaf Blade for the phase change. I don't mind it. Now a ton of synergy to get yet. Dunks on him, keeps him close, and then goes in for the 2x. Jump Y combo, not able to get it, but it gets a reset into the grab. And shimmies him and goes in for the Y risky, but it works out for him. Hammer arm, not coming out. Jumping out of that Giga Drain. He's, able gonna tra he's gonna be able to trade with the Toxic. Grab. See, he's doing, uh, is actually uh, showing his grabs by going for that high stance. You can kind of see uh, his character change as the orbs on his back are, grow are glowing. He's telegraphing his grab quite a bit. And we'll see if Blood is able to recognize that. Able to dunk him out of it. He has synergy. He is going to spend it. I like this. He's got a force game team to pop his. Telling him to press the button. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, blood, blood taunting Genie during the match saying press the button, press the button. And then, so Blood will press the button. And then Game Genie pressed two buttons and uh, took the round. These two are having fun, it's good to see. So you're seeing some good gameplay and they're having fun doing it, so. Nice jump off of my blood. He's able to at least get him away from him. Dunk him down right next to him. Goes for the 2x again, that is punishable. If it catches, it's a lot of damage, but there's a lot uh, some different options you can go for there. Doesn't hold the CA long enough. Oh, that was a big punish opportunity, but the blood pressing the button. Dunked on him. Doesn't go for the 2Y against Tries to the grab. Or 2X, excuse me. Grabs him here. Rusher up coming out. This is gonna hit. Blood jumped. He's gonna have the attack down as well, which is huge for the champ. Blood or er, Game Genie setting up a few traps. Trying to set an obstacle course to try to get him a champ to come in. He does. He takes the 4Y and the bull seed. You get eat a large chunk of damage here. You got the burst. It was a nice setup there by Game Genie. Trying to get force him to block. This is gonna be a lot of damage. I'm not sure if he's dead yet. He is in rage. He's gonna do a lot of damage. And it did just enough. Blood able to go into round number three here. But Game Genie has full burst. But Blood's gonna be able to start the round with 40%. Going right in there with the JX and Game Genie able to punish accordingly. Hammer, I'm going in, gonna force him at the wall. Rush Ram has a good get off me tool. Blood jumping up in the air, probably. Oh, tries for the JX, but he, he didn't get the debuff. He actually got away from it. This is gonna be good damage. Keeps him in the corner. Uses the JX as the Oki. Not holding the CA long enough. The follow up there, Dragon's Breath. Gonna be able to set. Oh, well, that was a shield break setup that Game Genie had, but he was two plus to try to grab him, but he had the full setup if he wanted to break the shield to get the synergy away from his life. That's gonna might cost him later here in this round. So both players just exchanging blows here. I like the coverage from Game Genie. He's gonna get. Blood's about to get his shield broken. He needs to do something. Jumps out. He needs synergy. These straight hits are kind of working against Game Genie a little bit, but this is going to do a lot. Not enough. They clear out the round, but he gets burst. Let's see if a champion do a ton of damage here. He does have the speed buff. Oh, and the submission is going to do a lot. Only 15 seconds left. 15 seconds left. About even on life. What's going to happen? Treads with a submission. 10 seconds left. Goes for the burst. Is he going to push him away? Push them away, and then they able to cross, YOLO cross drop, able to get in. <laughs> All right.
game number three here in this interesting set between Game Genie and Blood. Alright, Game Blood able to push him out of the air. Tries for the roll, not able to get it. There are iframes on that roll, but he's not able to time it. Uh, not able to time it correctly, but I don't think it has enough active uh, iframes that would actually go through that JX by Septile. Septile and Game Genie able to get the face change and then get the face change again here in the duel. Game Genie tried to call out the jump, he was correctly, but the space was off. Nice patience there by Blood. This is gonna not hit, he's not running Retroam. He's running Cresselia actually. To get a little bit of synergy. And that is gonna be it. Blood having a really hard time navigating around these traps, uh, which is very hard. It's quite an obstacle course uh, from Sceptile. So. See the adjustment that he has to make here. See, this is his winner's, winner's side match. Calls out the jump and then the counter frames on the JX from Blood. Is able to get the crit off of that. <laughs> Blood's like, I'm not. Oh, I'm not concerned. Pressure him to push him away. Guard against it. We're gonna see the return burst. Oh, dangerous there by Blood, but he's able to burst that before he gets hit too hard. Jumps and grabs him. What's the Yoki situation? Nice fake out there. Wanted Blood to spend the burst. Right, he was jumping, he's gonna get it. And he's gonna catch the pillar, is just gonna touch him. He's gonna be living. Synergy defense is helping him out. What's the Yoki? He's actually gonna leave him for a while. Ford Y able to get it for Game Genie. Trying to close it out here, does not want to go to a game number three. Or round number three, excuse me. Tries to call out a jump again. Not a bad decision by Game Genie, but not successful. Blood is just whittling, and, or Game Genie is just whittling Blood down with these Giga Drains. It calls out, calls out the jump with the counter phrase. <laughs> with the counter frames, is able to get it. Game Genie able to close it out with the Asuka drop, the Leaf Storm coming out from Game Genie, calling out those jumps, and with it being a crit, it was just enough to take the champ out. Good games by both.